um, have uh, Ms. Ice today uh, give us her statement. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good morning. Honorable Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Honorable Chairperson and Distinguished Commissioner of the Truth, Reconciliation and Reparation Commission, Executive Secretary of the TRC, member of the staff of the TRC, UN colleagues, the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Allow me first to, to wish you a very happy new year, with good health for you and your family. And uh, it's, uh, of course, an honor for me to come to the TRC this morning. And when, for the reason of my visit is to assist the Commission in achieving its objective. As you all recall, in June 2019, the UNDP and the Office of the High Commission of uh, on Human Rights and uh, tra uh, Transitional Justice and Human Rights Project, with support of the UN Peace Building Fund, hand, of, uh, hand over to the Minister of Justice, Office Equipment and Furniture, was $515 million for the TRC. Thanks to continued effort for the UNDP and the Office of the High Commissioner of UN, uh, Human Rights uh, Project, Transitional Justice Project, we are convened today to hand over a 15-seat computer committee, committee bus to address system and pub uh, a public address system and publication was $8 million to the TRC. This is following the visit we, we had uh, we held a few, few months ago when we came here. And it's really a pleasure to, to make it a reality. Combined to this item uh, shall increase uh, the TRC ability to reach out to the most hard and part of the country and, and ease the transmission of its public hearings, but also increase awareness on the TRC mandate and ensure that all citizens, including children, participate in the Gambia Transitional Justice Program. An important contribution to the Gambia and, and to its goal, especially the Sustainable Development Goals. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this ceremony is yet another demonstration of the UN United Nations support to the government of the Gambia to successfully implement a transitional justice process thereby ensuring that human rights violations committed during the 22 years rule of the former president are adequately, adequately addressed to build a Gambia based on human rights and rule of law. Since May 2017, UNDP and the Office of the High Commission of Human Rights have been providing technical, material, and advisory support to the government of the Gambia since the start of the TRC's operations, this support has been channeled through outreach and statement taking, initiative investigation, including <coughs> examination victims, support services, witness, pro witness protection, public hearing, including the re recent regional hearing, not to mention the review of the strategic and operational documents. Distinguished Ladies and gentlemen, the handing over of these items are timely and great importance, and of great importance, considering that the Commission is entering the, its second year of operation and will soon commence the difficult task of implementation, implementing a reparations program, which form a significant portion of its mandates. And I, I think as the Attorney General mentioned yesterday on its statement, this is one of the rare country in the world where you have a reparation program part, as part of the truth and reconciliation. And this is really a great achievement for the Gambia. It is therefore critical for, that the government, development partners, and friends of the Gambia, including the Gambian population, support reparation for the victim and their family. And, that, and the action that we already uh, registered recently with the involvement of the diaspora it shows the ownership and how the Gambians are ready to, to contribute to this reparation process. As today marks the opening session of the TRC public hearing for the year 2020, 
it is befitting to be reflected to to, re, to be reflect uh, to to reflect on the past of the TRC's operations. Since commencing its public hearings, tes testimonies and the TRC at, at the TRC have truly shocked us all on the content on past human rights violation in the Gambia. Indeed, it is essential that these stories are captured in an impartial historical record, but to ensure that human rights are truly uh, as uh, ingrained as part of the culture in the Gambia. It is imperative that the TRC final recommendation, especially on institutional reforms, are fully implemented for, of the, by, the Gambia, by the government of the Gambia. Mr. Chairperson, distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, as there is a possibility that the 2020 is the final years of the TRC operation, I would like to commend the government of the Gambia and encourage you <coughs> to resend an, an unequivocal Inequal message to, uh, to, to all who allow the upholding transitional justice process in the country and of its commitment to ensure that never again, as also the Honorable Minister mentioned yesterday, the Gambia be the host of gross human rights abuse and violations. Finally, ladies and gentlemen and distinguished uh, delegates, I would like to also encourage that the TRC to intensively to intensify its engagement with the people of the Gambia through enhanced outreach and communication. Uh, and we know that it's being done in several languages, but uh, communication is never enough, as we always say. And to ensure public participation while involving fully and my, my meaningfully victims at every stage of the process. Let, no for, let me forget, least we forget that the Commission, the TRC, is a central institution in ensuring that the overall objective of the transitional agenda, transitional justice agenda of the Gambia regain its culture of human rights and rule of law is, is achieved. I thank you for your kind attention and again congratulate the TRC for all the achievements so far in wish you a very fruitful year 2020. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Esther Day. Indeed, um, the TRRC and by extension the Gambia government is very grateful to um, the UNDP for always going above and beyond to, to support our work. We are very, very grateful to the UNDP, to the Peace Building Support Office, to the Office of the Human Rights uh, the Commission, um, the Commission, Commissioner for Human Rights in, in Dhaka. So uh, thank you very much for those encouraging remarks. Now we move on to um, a statement by uh, uh, Mr. Abubakar Tamberu, the Minister of Justice and Attorney General. Eji, please. Thank you, Mr. Executive Secretary. Um, Chairman Sisi, good morning, Deputy Chair, and Adelaide, all the Commissioners, um, the Executive Secretary and Lead Council, um, I said a resident um, representative of the UNDP, um, Julian and his team at the um, Project Management Unit, and distinguished Ladies and gentlemen, it, I don't think there is any doubt anymore in this country that the TRC has had the most profound impact on the lives of ordinary Gambians in this transitional justice process. And I say this with an immense sense of pride and satisfaction, especially when I think about the struggles that we have had in the beginning from really the concept and the opposition to establishing the TRC from certain um, quarters in Gambian society. There were questions raised as to whether we needed a truth commission in this country. Some actually even said it was a waste of money, waste of time, 
um, that we didn't go through war, and therefore, what's the point? And I stood my ground. I would rather fail in trying than not trying at all. And with the support of the government, family behind me, we persisted and persevered. I recall how under intense pressure I reached out to the executive secretary, Dr. Baba Galejalo, and said, I need you here. I need you to come home and help me because I knew him. He was my teacher, by the way, at St. Augustine's High School. I knew he was a principal man. I knew he was hardworking. I knew his consistent principal position um, during the Jami days. I had a lot of trust and confidence in him. And so I grabbed him and put him back um, at great cost to his professional and personal life in the US. And he accepted graciously to come and help me because I needed someone to lead the process of pushing this through. And so I recall the first few visits we had here at this hotel when it was completely dilapidated. And we were under a lot of pressure to get it um, renovated. And I recall how I um, um, felt the pressure, the public pressure to, 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 to see some activity on the part of government. And I, um, in consultation certainly with um, orders that we were going to launch the TIRC in October 2018, um, no matter what. Um, to, yes, 2018, no matter what. And so we put it on, and even though the renovations were not complete by that date, but a substantial um, progress has been achieved. And so we um, managed to launch it and get the place done. I recall the tedious process of um, selecting the commissioners um, right across the country and ensuring, um, significantly ensuring that there was no government interference um, in this process. And so every commissioner that you see here uh, was an, uh, an appointee of the Gambian public through the different processes that we engage in. And I recall how I needed to save the commission from the um, arduous task of um, leading witnesses, um, examining or cross-examining witnesses, because um, this commission was um, established with several things in mind. And so I um, had to turn to another friend of mine um, Esa Fal, who, with whom I worked. Um, actually, Esa was the person who um, took me by the hand and took me to the Ministry of Justice to work there as a state prosecutor uh, when I had just graduated um, from the University of Warwick. And I spent time with him um, at the ministry and um, held him in high regard, uh, of course, with his competence. I was, um, and he made it easy for me. As soon as I reached out, I said, I, Esa, I needed um, counsel to help with this TRC process. Uh, will you do it? Esa is a big businessman now, especially in Dakar. I'm sure many of you know that. And um, he jumped on the opportunity and said, it's for country, why not? So I am also pleased that Esa has come on board and has really helped me. I, we, the government, the Gambia government couldn't have wished for a better team um, at the TRRC. Um, um, the fact that ESA and BABA were appointed early on and their subsequent appointments shows that I was right in choosing, in identifying them as leaders. And I am very happy with the outcome. I am not going to um, share about the three-hour grilling lunch I had with the chair here um, in New York. 
uh, when I uh, also tried to persuade him to come over, he invited me for lunch, and I thought um, um, I was going to um, interview him on whether he should, he is fit and proper to be chair. It turned out the other way. He was interviewing me, um, and I felt I was being interviewed for a job myself. But um, I was under no illusions, actually, that um, a man of his grace, of his wisdom, of his intellect, formidable intellect, of his reputation um, internationally would make a difference, not just for the TRC, but the perception of independence, of impartiality, of fairness um, of this process. And I was um, really happy when he accepted um, to um, come back home and give back to his country after giving so much to the world out there through the United Nations. Uh, so um, this is another um, occasion really for us to mark um, a, another baby step um, towards the um, reconstruction of Gambian society. And throughout this process, throughout this period, the United Nations has been the uh, foremost um, funder and our partner um, in this entire process. They have been there with us right from the beginning. Um, the Peace Building Support Office um, was very, very instrumental in um, helping us um, get all of the basic um, equipments, basic amenities, basic necessities that we needed really to get everything up and running. And um, through the funds from the Peace Building Fund and um, of course the close partnership with the UNDP here and of course the UN Office of High Commissioner for Human Rights in, in Dakar and Geneva um, provided us with much needed support um, throughout this process. Um, I said uh, the resident web has just um, detailed some of the assistance that they gave, but um, they had a team at my ministry headed by Julian, um, whom I was um, happy to host without rent, without a fee, uh, for a few months before he found his own uh, place and established his own team. But um, they were quite helpful, and again, today they have reiterated this long-standing commitment to um, accompanying us in this very difficult transitional justice process. But transitional justice is not a dull subject anywhere around the world. It's complicated, it's complex. It has um, very difficult dynamics which easily change the trajectory of um, these processes. And so far we have been lucky in our country um, that um, while the dynamics have changed a little bit, the political dynamics, we can't run away from that. The fact remains that right from the outset we had ensured that these processes are going to be apolitical, they're going to be independent, they're going to be um, impartial, and luckily we have been saved um, by that approach right from the start. And I can assure you that that is the trajectory we will follow until the end of this transitional justice process. And I am happy that we have partners such as the UN, or through the UNDP and the Office of High Commissioner for Human Rights, and of course through their implementing agency in the um, project management unit, that they have been with us and that they are with us, and I'm sure that they will continue to be with us and provide us with the support that we will need to see this process through. And so today with these, um, um, with these donations, um, I said uh, you are um, conveying um, very clearly yet another demonstration of the commitment of the United Nations family to the Gambia. The UN is desperate to see the Gambia succeed. Gambians are desperate to see our country succeed. And God willing, we will succeed. I thank you all. Um, thank you very much, A.G. We are indeed very grateful for the opportunity to serve this country and very, very grateful to have um, uh, Dr. Lemon C. as the chair of this commission. We couldn't have wished for a better chair or a better lead council. Um, thank you very much. And we are very grateful that the government 
has not been interfering and will not interfere in our work. So thank you very much. Um, now we pass the uh, button on to Dr. Lamin Sise, the chair. Thank you. Well, I'm not sure really what to say after what the minister has said and the resident representative as well. I thank both of you really on behalf of the commissioners and the um, rest of uh, TRRC team uh, for this wonderful um, gesture. I wish we would have more visits, um, uh, perhaps every month you guys come here <laughs> just to do this. But you two are the greatest supporters for this um, uh, enterprise, this project, um, uh, TRRC. Uh, Minister, you have been supporting us morally, uh, financially as well, and uh, all kinds of support that anybody would want in a situation like this, you have been giving that to Madras unfailingly. And uh, uh, um, resident coordinator, I said, uh, you have been fantastic as well. Your staff, all of you have been behind us uh, throughout um, uh, 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 our exercises. Yes, the minister is right. Uh, I wasn't sure at the beginning whether or not to accept him or to come back um, uh, and uh, assist in this endeavor. <laughs> it, yes, indeed, it was me asking lots of questions because uh, when he first um, spoke to me on the phone, we were in Accra attending the funeral of um, uh, the late Secretary General um, uh, Kofi Annan and uh, uh, Mr. Blaijani, head of um, uh, UN office in uh, uh, Addis Ababa uh, said to me, Lamine, I need to talk to you urgently. They want you back. And I told him, who wants me back? He said, in Gambia, they want you to go. Ta, ta, ta. I, said, I said to him, go jump in the ocean. They're not he said, no, I'm not joking. So we met in the hotel, and then he called the minister. The minister came around, and I thought, this is now a serious um, request, you know. It's not a joke anymore. But anyway, we spoke. And we agreed then we would meet in New York, and uh, we did that. There were three basic questions I said to him that I wanted to know before I say yes. <laughs> and those were, first, what is the mandate of this um, commission? He got into it, um, uh, as always, very, very thoroughly and uh, understood that. The second question was, what's the structure? Uh, really impressed him uh, when he got into how the commissioners were selected a very inclusive um, a process they had gone through, reflecting the, uh, uh, the, the, the Gambia population community as a whole. The third one was, how are you funding this um, uh, enterprise? How are you funding this commission? Again, he got into lots of uh, uh, explanation about that. And I said to him, OK, give me a day or two. Let me think about it. And then I called him up and said, fine, this is all all right country calling you, this is a wonderful opportunity. But deep down, I wasn't going to say no. <laughs> uh, how can you um, uh, decline uh, a call from your country to come and help? You have um, partners here who are helping us. You have um, uh, leaders here who are committed to this process. Uh, who am I to say no? I'm just a little soldier. I should join them, and then we come and do that. But again, thank you without um, really delaying you. Thank you so much Emma, for this, um, uh, this uh, donation Emma, to the TRRC. We really appreciate it very much. The commuter bus certainly would help us in uh, uh, reinforcing our activities in the uh, outreach um, uh, thing, uh, uh, undertakings that we make out here. But again, thank you so much. And uh, it's a pleasant um, uh, thing to see you here um, come round in a ceremony like this to give us some of uh, these uh, 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 donations. Again, a million thanks for coming to assist us. Thank you all very much indeed. Thank you, um, thank you very much, Chair. Uh, before we go out for the handing over ceremony, I just want to take this opportunity to again thank um, the UNDP for the 15 seater commuter bus. It's going to be, oh. Um, yeah, so before we go out for the form formal handing over of the 
um, of the items. I want to take this opportunity to thank the UNDP for the commuter bus. We also came with technologies for the delivery and maintenance of the high performance public address system. Uh, to thank SAT Communication Technologies for the development and printing of the child-friendly summary of the TRRC Act with support from UNICEF and the National Youth Council. Um, and also Jason and Helen Florio, R&A Printing and the British High Commission for the development and printing of the photo exhibition that we see around, but that's in a booklet form now, Portraits for Positive Change. Um, on that note, um, I would hand over to either to tell us what to do next. Should we go out for a presentation ceremony or can you just come and tell us uh, what we're supposed to be doing? Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, can the media please, uh, the cameras and stuff, please go out and help cover this event, please?